Hi, and welcome back to Anna Dialogue, the dialogue on analog music reproduction. Today, we're going to talk about something different, let's say, a tweak, something that could greatly help your system, but you must do it in the correct way. That's why we're here. Today, we're going to talk about vibrations. Vibrations are one of the worst enemy of analog, also digital, obviously, re uh, musical reproduction. We really have to pay attention to this issue. Unfortunately, our delicate audio signal, when a vibration starts to, to generate in any part of our audio system, the signal degradates. It starts to get dirty. It starts to create uh, harmonics you don't want inside there which are going to somehow distort completely the, uh, the, the sound reproduction. Obviously, we're talking about sometimes subtle differences, while in other cases, you'll, you'll find a huge difference in this. So it, it's kind of tricky. You, you have to understand if you decide to do something about this issue, where to add some kind of a tool, some kind of gizmo to isolate your equipment so you can reduce somehow the vibrations. Mechanical vibrations, where do these happen? Where do these take place? Well, most of all, the most sensible parts, the first thing that comes to mind, which I think anybody can think about, is the CD player. Our channel is dedicated to analog reproduction, so this doesn't fit properly, but that doesn't mind. We're here to talk about music mainly. Analog Music is excellent, but also digital has his, his good points. So CD uh, reproduction would greatly benefit from a reduction in vibrations, since the, the laser, when it picks up a signal, needs, in this sense, a control of the vibrations. So besides CD players turning back in the analog domain, what is the most important component of your hi-fi um, chain, hi-fi system? Well, obviously the turntable is going to be one of the most sensible element to vibrations. Another key component of your hi-fi system which needs great attention in uh, isolating the vibrations are loudspeakers. Loudspeakers definitely need something below them, underneath them, to control this uh, unwanted effect. Besides these key elements, as we said, CDs, players, turntables, loudspeakers, also, other elements of your, of your hi-fi system would greatly benefit by uh, somehow introducing a component to reduce these vibrations. So, for example, the amplifier, phono preamps, even if they're uh, transistor uh, integrated amplifiers uh, or um, a valve amplifiers with tubes, especially tube amplifiers, greatly benefit from a, a kind of isolation from vibrations. The music signal, the electric signal that passes through these, changes if there are vibrations in all the different components. And you really need to control the effect of vibration because it builds up. Each part of your system may start to build up uh, vibrations gathered by a component before that. So, for example, if you have vibrations in a CD player or a turntable, those will be enhanced by, by your um, amplifier and so on. A tricky part which you don't hear talk about that much. In my opinion, and not only in my opinion, this is a great issue. If you go around online stores or hi-fi uh, rencontre or whatever, vibrations is one of the dominant topics because this is a great issue that must be somehow addressed when you would like to um, increase the sound of your hi-fi system. So mainly we have three typologies of vibration control. The first of these are damping solutions. A good example are these, maybe you're familiar with these, these are called vibropods. They're made in vinyl, they have different kinds of consistencies so you can put on top or attach below in order to set on a table different types of, of load. For example, 5, 10, 15 kilos. It depends from your piece of equipment. Uh, sometimes they're combined with other pieces of equipment of the same brand, which are these. Again, you can use them like this, like this. This is just for an example 
of the Vibropods, which I use in my CD player. But obviously in this category fall all the different kinds of spikes you can find on the market, which are thousands and they're uh, shoe spikes, which goes underneath. This, uh, this type of solution is usually adopted in, in good quality audiophile pieces of equipment. Other nice solutions are these sound care super spikes, which uh, already have their shoe spike inside. So you don't have to get crazy trying to move around a, a piece of equipment like, like uh, the loudspeakers and you just screw them in. These are a few examples of what are the damping solutions. A second typology of vibration control may be called uh, decoupling where um, you have your piece of equipment which must be isolated the best way possible from the floor or uh, a table wherever it's resting on. So you, you will find around a lot of solutions like this, something very similar like this, which may contain different types of bearings or um, suspensions realized with different kinds of materials. Sometimes you're probably facing something completely unreal, uh, unnecessary and not ineffective. But if you find, probably finding good reviews or my suggestions, which I will insert in the video comments, you can find some great products which will really increase the quality of your, of your system. For example, I have these, which are made in Italy, and um, it's a simple solution which I put underneath my loudspeakers. This is just a, a typology of examples. Here you can see other images of other similar solutions. A third type of uh, vibration control, which is probably the best of all, any kind of floating, or we could call also suspension uh, typologies, where a piece of equipment, like for example, a turntable, is completely floating in the air. How is this done? Sometimes with magnets, sometimes with fluids. I mean, there, there's so many solutions, but obviously this type, this last category is extremely expensive. If you have the money, obviously go for it, but. I think you can spend money in other parts of your system and which would m might benefit more. So I'll, I would like to spend one last word on the benefits of vibration isolation, vibration control. So why do is it so important to do this? Why is it necessary? Well, first of all, one of the first benefits, for example, if you start putting good quality spikes under your loudspeakers or decoupling solutions like this one, you will see that the low frequency, the bass, will change completely. I mean, uh, sometimes what we think is a good quality, low frequency, uh, a great bass, is probably distortion. There's a good way to understand if your music signal is distorting. Try to pump it up, try to crank the volume uh, very loud, and you will see that when a good, you have a good quality signal, you will be able to turn that knob a lot, and it won't, it, it almost won't seem to go up. The volume almost doesn't seem to change. Instead, if your uh, volume is distorting, just after a few centimeters, after a few inches, by turning that knob, it'll seem to have a very, very loud type of audio type of music, which is why, because what's happening, it's distorting. So that is why uh, it is very important to isolate your loudspeakers. Even if you have bookshelves, uh, big floor stands like I have, three-way, two-way, passive, active, it doesn't matter. You must put something to isolate your loudspeakers. I think that's probably the most important to along with the turntable and CD player. What are other benefits? Obviously, you will find more precision, timing, um, the clarity of distinctive types of instruments, the timber. Overall, you will have less distortion, which is, as I said, the key parameter uh, in this type of issue. An important fact to remember regarding all these damping, isolating, floating, vibration control solutions are the materials. Not only the engineering, which obviously you must research on the web, on specialized magazines, if you're interested that much, but also the materials are very important because, um, for example, this seems aluminum, but it's not. It's called Delrin, which is a very extremely hard material, but at the same time, it uh, has damping properties. So you kind of have to look for these particular solutions. I, as I said, I will put a few examples down here in the video comments, which will help you 
move around, but it, there, there's so many, you really have to start to do some research. Even on the web, I mean, it's perfect. You'll find in the, in the forums, online sites, official reviews of important magazines will help you to find the right solution. You can also start with something simple like vibropods. They just call it cost a few dollars, a few euros. Already inserting a few of these under your key components, you will probably pick up some finer quality audio. So you must experiment. The important part is to explore the different solutions out there. You must do some research. I just wanted to say one last word on this aspect. We uh, have discussed only about the main key elements of a hi-fi system, but there are other parts of your hi-fi system would greatly benefit from inserting specific types of elements. For example, people also put them underneath their power conditioners, their power strips that will greatly increase the sound quality. I know it sounds strange, but it does have an effect on that. Try it out. Some people also put it some underneath cables. I think that's a little too much, but you never know. So experiment underneath your tape deck recorders or anything else that may have any kind of vibration inside does have benefit if it has some kinds of damping or isolation, isolating solutions. Try them out. Before closing the video, I wanted to spend a few words on a very important aspect beside those discussed up until now. You must put particular attention within this issue, the vibration control issue, in choosing where you will put your equipment, on which it lays. In fact, there is a whole world of dedicated hi-fi furniture, for example, tab tables or uh, suspension platforms, there is a huge variety of this kind of products, which are very, very important. Uh, if you must decide uh, to invest on only one component, go for a dedicated table, dedicated uh, piece of furniture where you can put your turntable, you can put your equipment. It can't be a normal bookshelf or uh, a, a normal table because these will increase the distortion of the vibrations. So please spend some time and some money on this type of equipment. This maybe is even more important, I would say, than isolating your uh, pieces of equipment because you must start from this part and then pass on to the CD player, to the turntable, to the loudspeakers. But the first part is create a solid place where to put your uh, parts of your audio file system. Okay guys, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please click thumbs down if you didn't like it. That's important. Or thumbs up if you did. Thank you again for watching and hope to see you soon. Bye from Anna Dialogue. Bye guys.